Rachmaninoff was at a party in Long Island one day, and he met this other guy from Russia, and who so impressed him that he... Biomimicry is innovation inspired by nature. Looking to nature, looking to the plants and animals around us, and observing the solutions that exist in them, the unique characteristics and functionalities that can help inform us as we develop our products and processes that are in harmony with nature rather than dominating nature. Today I thought I'd take a quick look at the general, as it were, innovative context in which you biomimicry geniuses find yourselves. And I thought that might be worthwhile, given the fact that what you're up to is, I think, likely to bring the kind of radical social change that the great American thinker Yogi Berra once referred to in one of his more cosmic utterances when he said, the future ain't what it used to be. It's a complete extension of our mission. Uh, we are a conservation organization. We're in the business of saving species, and we do an outstanding job at that. But ultimately, what service can we be if we can't reintroduce the plants and the animals into their natural habitat? Through biomimicry, we see that business would gain efficiencies which would result in reduced consumption of natural resources, which would lead to the restoration of habitat, whereby we would see the enhancement of biodiversity. And that's when we can re reintroduce our plants and our animals. The main thing that we're trying to accomplish is the continuation of the discussion and the recognition that it has moved beyond just idea to actual reality. We have many companies here that are providing um, expo and demonstrations for us. We have uh, different individuals who are chief operating officers, chief executive officers, chief financial officers. These are people that are coming together because they can make a difference, they can make things happen. So it's gone be beyond just pure education to actually implementation. There is a strong connection between biomimicry and the San Diego Zoo. As stewards of one of the world's largest collections of plants and animals, we have a hundred years worth of animal husbandry, plant husbandry knowledge, and we have this collection that is available for us to provide the world with a living library that can inform people about the wonder, the awe, and the abundance of nature. And once people see that, once people start to experience that, we can become the facilitator or the interpreter for them between the business world, the educational world, the whole world, and what we actually have, this precious jewel that we have at the San Diego Zoo.